<laughs> I already got it recording, so I wouldn't forget. Oh, very oh. good. Yeah, that's my go-to move. Half an hour of conversation, then I go, oh, you know what? <laughs> I forgot to record. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm much better at this now. <laughs> You're all professional and whatnot. Well, you know, we try. <laughs> it's never going to be perfect, and we're okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are in Florida. We are in Wilton Manors yes. on the drive at this fabulous very moment. gay city. You Full of are... rainbows and glitter and sparkles. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you're in the gayborhood. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Kristen Baker and Stacy, how lovely. Uh Hi, Stacy, right? I got that right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Look at me doing my research. Um I wanted to have you on and I was super conscious of the fact that you didn't have that much time. And uh, my poor little JD scored tickets to the heart concert tonight. We know someone going to that concert tonight. So yeah. she couldn't be with us, but I told her it's okay. No. It'll be like a good old fashioned catch up, you know? No you know what? Cheers. cheers. Cheers to her. Well, cheers. Cheers to Jay. <laughs> there you go. I can't even, the nerve of me having caffeine at midnight. Awesome. <laughs> so I think I know why you're there. <laughs> but let's let our uh, listeners know. Are, it's Is it the launch party? Yes, it is. We are here for two reasons. Number one, um, we're doing our Let's Go travel show down here in Wilton Manors, focusing on the amazing Pride Center that's down here. And the launch party of Skirt Soflo, which is a lesbian-focused magazine, print magazine, and their launch party is indeed on Saturday, and we're going to be filming it. And one of the things we want to highlight is skirts and the fact that, you know, they're launching a print magazine when everyone's going digital. Right. It's so great. We had, the, we had the ladies yeah. on and we were super, super happy about it. I'm happy that they're doing both because yeah. I used to write for She Magazine. And yeah, that was, I remember. Uh, right? And, yeah. and then when that went away, there was there was just nothing to replace it. And I am one of those people that would make, you know, the drive to Wilton to pick up the magazine, to open it up, yeah. sniff it check out my article, look at every, you know, look at every little thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, and I just, I, I feel like there's a lot of us, there's a lot of people that want that same experience. 100%. And then on the flip side, because I'm over here, I still want to know what's going on. So I get the digital edition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There like, you go. Yep. Got to consume it all, but I'm, uh, I'm due back there um, next week. So I'll be able to, um, we missed you. Oh, you. We missed you by one we week. We missed you. One week. No. Come yep. on. Isn't that sucky? Oh, That's son so of sucky. A gun. I know. I'm so upset. Um, I was like, it was funny. I was trying to explain to Stacy like how long we've known each other. I was like, no, no. I was like, I stayed at her house with her <laughs> partner like years ago at outside of London. I was like, no, no. I like Denise and I go way back. Yeah, like we got history, man. <laughs> we do, we do. Yeah. We've been like right there, like doing it, you know. I was gonna ask you, I couldn't remember. I remember you stayed with us once at Hazel's, but did you stay? You stayed here in this house, right? I stayed at your house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. it looks a little bit different. We just we're constantly doing things to it, you know. As, of course. Like over here, it's all about like trying to create space, and yeah. and. I am so fortunate to be able to say that we got an air conditioner. <laughs> Look at you, fancy. Right? No one's got those here, man. And I couldn't go through another summer of 90 degrees no. in fans. I'm like, no, no. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. And everybody's so polite. They're just like, we don't need air conditioning. It's just a few weeks. And I'm like, but you don't have to be uncomfortable. You don't yeah. have to be uncomfortable. <laughs> like, no, no. So polite. They're so polite. So we just uh, celebrated Gemma's birthday tonight. Um, so happy Hazel birthday, said, Gemma! Yeah, and Hazel said, "Oh, tell Kristen I said hello." Oh like, man, <laughs> tell Hazel I said hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's coming back 
with me when I go back to Florida in September. So oh, nice. we do a nice. little bit of uh, travel together too, because my mom has to see oh. everyone all the time. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. duh. Yeah, exactly. So I just like pull friends to come, come on, my mom wants to see you and then guilt them right into it. It's amazing. So tell me a little bit more about the travel show series influencer status. What's the, what, what are we going for here? Yeah. I'll let Stacy take that. Well, so we're really excited because we're traveling around and we're really trying to showcase lesbian business owners, influencers, um, and the community that they live in and, you know, where you can go to feel safe and just, you know, places that maybe people haven't heard of before, um, you know, just to get the word out on different cities. Yeah. And how do you find them? Like, where do you, do people just kind of like contact you and say, oh, you should come here and see this and do this. And somehow that's starting to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, which is cool. I think, you know, it kind of started because we wanted to do um, like the lesbian festivals. So we're doing a, a European one. We're doing one in Ibiza and then we're doing one in Greece. And the then all of a sudden we started talking about like going to different cities. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we started posting about it, like people started getting a hold yeah. of us. So we're yeah. going to be in Barcelona soon. And someone was like, Oh, I know the lesbian bar over there let me connect you and it was like oh my gosh amazing and then we reached out to a group that's like a lesbian group in barcelona and so we want to interview them and yeah so it's kind of a mixture of like places that we want to go and then um places that like people like yeah like highlight yeah that's that's really cool i had um chris and thomas on and um she focuses on the Asheville area and, uh, you know, lesbian and lesbian and family friendly places all around North Carolina. And oh, yeah. And cool. I was like, who knew, you know, like I just, I, I think, you know, we all get so insular and we only know our three foot by three foot, you know, whatever. Yeah. But there's like so many places out there when we, we just did a cruise last September and I was I put this app on my phone, like everywhere is queer. So we knew like where we should go, maybe where we shouldn't go when we would get off in different ports and stuff. And it was really helpful. You know, I mean, it's, it yeah. was in its infancy, but I think it's one of those apps that's just going to keep getting better. Um, that's cool. But it, I think it helps because, you know, everybody's like all keen to travel again, honestly, after being trapped yes. in and everything, mm -hmm. right? But, um, and I, and I do think as, you know, as a queer person, you got to do a little research and know what's safe and what's accepting and where you're going to yeah. feel okay, because 100%. you're spending a lot of money, you know, you're spending a lot of money to do these things. So I think yeah. you'll probably help a lot of people that might not want to get online, open up their laptop, look up stuff, you know, if it's a quick real or a quick yeah. video or something that they can watch and make a note of it, you know, yeah. and, you know, and, and feature these places. It's, it's a really good, you know, concept, you know, like to, because I know I hate opening my laptop for anything, you know, yeah. <laughs> I do everything on my phone. I don't really <laughs> want to open up yeah. my laptop, you know, yeah. so that's the best way because I th also think attention spans are shrinking a little bit. Yeah. I think for us too, like we want to do both of those things, right? Like we're going to put a shorter episode up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, but then we want to have a longer episode that digs into these lesbian business owners and like highlights some of the amazing lesbians that are like in these cities, like just living their life, being authentic, being true. And, you know, they're not famous. They're not stars, but like they're just being very authentic and living their life. And we want to highlight them as well. And we're really excited to do that too. That's that's cool. That's really cool yeah. because it's true. We're and we're losing so many spaces, you know. Yeah. So to highlight the ones that are still there, or the ones that are coming up, or 
you know, it's really, really yeah. important. So that's, that's really great. So you've been doing it for how long now altogether? Like we just started in February. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we went to really? New Orleans. Yeah. So um, they're not Lafayette. actually out yet. Yeah. Like we're still editing the episodes, but you know, we're putting stuff up on social to say like, we're here, we're, you know, here's where we are. Here's what we're doing. Watch for the episode. So, you know, like people like you and our friends are like kind of following us to see where we're going. But the episodes will launch in June. We're going to launch with four to five episodes in June. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Where can people see those? Will those be? They'll be on Tello. Yeah. Oh, they'll, they'll be, be on, on Tello. Oh, perfect. Oh, even yeah. Tello. Yeah. Great. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then again, we'll put like little teasers up on socials to, you know, let people know, you know, give people a little snippet, but, but we're really hoping they, you know, head to, head to the site and like really, you know, discover these amazing people. Yeah. Dive in. Cause it, you know, it, a lot of it too is like, I, I really, I, I, I like I'm, I'm the worst traveler there is. <laughs> I, I seriously fucking hate it. I get <laughs> traveling so much. I really, really, really do. Airports can't stand them. You know, sitting oh, up with strangers can't stand it. So yeah, I'm like, I'm just not good at it. And I just like put the pods in or put a movie on or whatever. <laughs> Don't even speak to the person next to me. Like, just oh, let me get there. So I'm just, and I'm not, and, and I'm a, like a panicker. Like, I don't even know if you remember, Chris, I don't even take public transportation. Like, nope, unless someone's driving. Oh, me. no, you you always drove. You were always no, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't take buses. I don't take trains. If I don't like I just it's just. No, I knew more about the train system in London in your town than you did. <laughs> you're like, you're taking the train. I was like, yeah. You're like, whoa, I haven't done like, that yet. Get up and go and walk to the train station. I'm like, oh, God. Oh, <laughs> so yeah i'm i'm just the worst like traveler so are you like do you guys have tips to make yeah. anything like a, even just an iota easier i think yeah i think we're gonna do tips i and see that's so funny i'm laughing because i love the airport that's like one of my favorite places to be <laughs> Oh man i can't i don't, don't want to touch anything i don't want to <laughs> anyone <laughs> just like just tell me there's a, a coffee place and I'm, I'm like i'm okay like i can settle down but then I'm, yeah. I'm also one of those people that once i get through security i go right to my gate right to my gate oh no I, see oh. i want to explore i'm gonna right. i want to see what's at this airport i want to see the restaurants i want to see the stores i want to see the people that's my <laughs> wife that's my wife she's like okay you sit here with the bags i'm like i yeah. can cool i'm good with it yeah <laughs> I'm not, I don't, uh, yeah, I'm so afraid of the plane taking off without me or being at the wrong gate, or it's like, I just keep but staring at the number. The app like, tells you if the plane's going to take off without you. You don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. So any little tips that you drop into these uh, videos will be much yeah. appreciated. Wait, I do have some travel tips though. Here's okay. the thing about airports. You just, if you're traveling by yourself, do whatever the hell makes you the most comfortable and the least anxious. If you're traveling with the person, respect what they need to feel comfortable. And then just, you know, kind of like Stacy likes to get to the airport earlier than I do. I don't want her to be anxious. So I'm going to be like, when, okay, I'll get there when you want to get there. So you just like, it's just about feeling, making the two of you or three of you or whomever feel the least anxious as possible. Thank you. We just got to my... respect who people are. Right. Like that, seriously, my wife lives by that because she knows what a basket case I am. So she'll, you know, yeah. get there early. She knows I just need to get a coffee and get settled so I can stare at the gate number. And then she can go <laughs> off and get things, buy me a treat. She knows what I yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all have a routine. It's you perfect. have a thing. You let her do what she needs to do. Yeah. yeah. She lets you do what you need to do. Exactly. That's really what it's all about. That's yeah, what it's about. true. It makes it it makes a huge difference. And really anybody that travels with me, even yeah. Hazel knows, you know, like how bad I, I, I am at it. So she does the same thing. Like yeah. your little pizza hut pizza, you know. <laughs> yep. There you go. Yeah. But the thing of it is, is I'm 
everything heightens when I travel alone, you know? Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, like that's just the worst because I don't talk to people. So then I don't yeah. know if I'm lost and I don't want to ask anybody. And I'm like a little kid, like it's it's horrible. But that one of those things, you know, um, that I'm wondering about too is – do you find that a lot of people travel solo, like, you know, like travel to these like a queer destination and they go solo? Like you've been talking I, to people. We've met several people that have done that. Yeah. There's actually yeah. some like, there's a wonderful group called Diva Destinations that actually yeah. does solo traveler trips. Yeah. They're based out of the UK. Yeah. And so I think more and more people are starting to travel solo. Yeah. Um, and now I think like different places and companies are starting to recognize mm -hmm. that and support people that want to travel by themselves. Yeah. Um, it's a big deal. Like I know so many of yeah. my friends do it over here, you know, yeah. and I have to say the way British people think of travel and holidays and they were like, they're in it to win it. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, like they're just like, <laughs> It's all they think about is their next trip and someplace. Yeah. Like, it's so different than how in America, like you, you work and you get your allotted vacation yep. and you either do it or you don't or whatever. You know what I mean? Like here, yeah. it's like their sing, single focus is just where they're going to go next. And I, I think we were like that when I first got here. We did Barcelona, we did Dublin, we did Copenhagen, Amsterdam. So many cool places, and then I got kind of turned out of them, you know. Interesting, yeah, yeah. We did, we did a bunch, and then we got a house too. So then it was like every you know, all the money was going into into the house, and yeah. And now it's, it feels like it's simply parents, like visiting parents are the big are the big trips. Because both of our parents are getting older in their car. I was so, like, seeing if I recognize any one of those voices. I can turn it around. Do I know them? Do I know? Them? It's, a, it's a bunch of lesbians. I I know. I probably do know them. My God! I bet you do. The the grounds. Are you at the well? No, we're at, we're at uh, they're at gastro bar. They're having a lesbian night, though. Hang on. Yeah, they are. Women with oh, pride. really? Oh, let's see. I think I've seen this before. <laughs> I know it's hard to see. They look kind of fuzzy. That's so funny. I can't believe you're in my old stomping grounds. I know, I think, right? I really think you guys are going to have a really good time at the um, launch party. Yeah, you know, it's at Hunters, right? Yes, Hunters. Have you been there? Oh yeah, that whole square at George's Alibi, like Good Eats across the street. I mean, you're, you're gonna you're gonna love it. Java Boys, all that stuff. Yeah, it's a really good time. Have you been in? In the game of the Chris, were you just there? Yeah, we were just there. We were yeah, just we down were here in February. And you were with Mr. Boo? Were you with Robert? Yes. Boo? yes. We spent the afternoon with him. He's amazing. Um, we just, yeah, we just spent like an hour with him. Yeah. He's great. He's such a good guy. He's such a good guy. The things he's doing and and the way that like when I lived there, we had a tiny community center that was basically the gym of some place of a church or something i don't even remember and then he became executive director moved it and grew it into this phenomenal place, right he's so good yeah he's so good i can't seriously wait to see all these little like mini movies you know that you'll be doing like the episodes actually but I'm thrilled that this is something that you're doing because I, I feel like spotlighting these places give solo travelers a place to go and feel good, but also like couples because you guys are, you know, married couple and you're doing things together and it just feels like it's a good way just to learn about queer friendly destinations and you know, a, way, a way to be comfortable when you're going to spend a ton of money to go on a trip, you know? Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I'm super, okay. super happy and I and I really hope it takes off. Like I mean anything uh, that we can do. And I do uh, I do want to recommend Copenhagen, Dublin, and Amsterdam. 
So, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. You got it. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Send to all of them. They're all fun. I, I don't think the place that we stayed in Amsterdam is is still a bed and breakfast. I'm not quite sure, but it was oh, called Cake and the, the, the two gay men that ran it treated oh, us like that. sisters. <laughs> <laughs> he gave us like all these rules about when you go into the into the red light district. You know, he was like, "Keep your purse crossed, keep your body." Yeah. You know, like, like all these things, and told us where we could go buy weed and what good places to eat. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was such a good time. They really, really put us at ease because we didn't obviously yeah. didn't understand oh, yeah. anything. Just, just wanted to go like, and see what it was like. But yeah, all the all the yeah, good so, um, yeah. travel places in Europe, and they're so That's easy to so talk to. Heavy. So it's it's yeah. as well. So yeah, I think you guys are on the right track here. Uh, thank, thank you for you. your support. We're so excited. Uh, have yeah. a great time in Florida. Tell my community I miss them. I love uh, them. Hi to uh, all the girls at uh, Skirt So Flow. We love them. Uh, my cat. Sorry. Is that a cat or a dog? That's a cat. No, this one is the little girl cat. You didn't get to meet her before. Oh, I didn't get to see her. Oh, the beauty. <laughs> Aw, she's so pretty. Don't step on it. Don't step on it. That's your her go-to move. Aww. Step in and delete and step in. But Bruce is still around and he's a he's a big Bruce. chunk still. He'll be eleven. Uh, he's yeah. such a sweet boy. He really is. He's such a he's such a mild mannered cat. She drives him crazy and he just loves oh, it. <laughs> Yeah. Aww, <laughs> thank, you guys. Denise, thank you it was so nice to meet you denise me too i can't wait to do this in person at some point yes. when you come to london okay take care guys Bye. Bye. why do you always run it's like never stop chasing your dreams <laughs> we drank way too much whiskey uh -huh. yeah, that's see <laughs> see Sean is you Don't ask me why I'm here tonight I had to take this midnight drive To find you And as I come in through the door I see her dancing on the floor Beside you
addicted to her touch That's true And I confess My addiction is you Why do you run?